Hey, you're listening to the right episode. If you want to hear my thoughts around bigger versus better, and uh, you're in for a treat, got a great thought around this. Uh, before we dive in, just want to make sure you know we are powered by the mortgage marketing animals. Uh, so want to thank you for being on the journey with us. Hey, and for those of you who've been listening to the podcast, I want to give you an ethical bribe for a honest review. All right, Steve, what do you mean? Ethical bribe for honest review. Uh, if you will go into the podcast and you will give an honest review where you consume podcast um, and, you know, when you click on that five star or whatever you feel like it should be, and then I'd love to hear how the uh, podcast is helping to impact your life and make a difference. Um, but give us an honest review and give us an honest review, send it to support at the marketing animals.com support at the marketing animals.com with a picture of your review and a place where to send it. We're going to send you, uh, we've got a marketing animals, Yeti mug. Uh, it's like a Yeti. It's not a Yeti, but it's one of those insulated mug, like not a mug, but a drinking glass, um, man, it's fantastic. One of my favorite, um, cups to use on a daily basis, but we're going to put one in your hands for an honest uh, review. All you got to do is take a snapshot, send it to support at the marketing animals with your name and address, and we will get that out in the mail to you uh, for taking the 30, 60 seconds it takes to give us an honest review. And so uh, I don't ask for a whole lot, but I would love to uh, just hear more about how this podcast is helping impact your life. So thank you for being on the journey. And let's get back to the topic in the conversation. If you, um, you know, if you, one of the things that happened here today, Carl and I, um, not only are we the best of friends, but uh, he's the founder of the Mortgage Marketing Animals. We were on a podcast earlier and we were talking. Uh, and at the end, he hit me with a quick question. He said, Steve, what's the biggest lesson you learned in 2022? And I wanted to do a quick episode around it because I've had the last couple of hours to think about it uh, in more detail. I was eating lunch earlier and just thinking about it. And I thought, man, I've got something to say around this. But I'd have to say the biggest lesson I learned in 2022 or one of the bigger lessons I learned is that bigger is not always better. Um, it's not about getting bigger. Uh, it's really about getting better. And let me unpack this real quick. You know, used to, it was like, Hey, how many outbound calls did I make? And we still have to make the right number, but how many appointments did I, did I have? And, and, and you've got to have the right number of appointments. Uh, how many calls did I make? How many leads did I get? And, and, and that is a good, measure that you've got to do it, but it's not always in getting bigger that you win, it's in getting better. And what I mean by that is this, when I look at the whole of last year, the biggest thing, the lesson I learned and what we got better at was not bigger for bigger sake, but if we can get better in our process, if we can get better in our conversion, if we can get better in our conversation, our designed conversations and script, if we could get better in identifying the right loan officers to join my branch, I'm a producing branch manager. If we could get better in helping the loan officers currently in the branch produce more and achieve their goals through first fast results. If we could get better in having more effective meetings with qualified agents, if we could get better in making the calls, get better in the list that we're calling, get better. What will happen is, is in getting better, you will have no choice, but begin to grow. If I get better in my time management, if I get better in disciplined in my calendar, if I get better in making sure that I steward the minutes that are now going to help me steward the years, if I get a little bit better in my leadership, if I get a little bit better in my appreciation, if I get a little bit better and how I show up each day, if I get better in taking time off so that I can be with my family and being fully engaged with them, if I can get better, then in getting better, we will get bigger because we become more effective. And so <clears throat> I really want to challenge you is this, you know, and I'm going to share some of the thoughts, but, you know, we used to always hear, hey, more leads solve all problems. Well, not necessarily. So bigger would say, man, if I'm closing, um, you know, I got, let's say I've got 40 leads coming in and I want to, you know, I'm closing say six transactions a month. Well, if I want to go and I want to double that, most people would say, man, you got to double the amount of leads that you're getting. And what we've learned is that that's not necessarily the case. Um, 
so let me give you an example. If I got 40 leads coming in on a monthly basis that are relationally referred leads, if I want to go from six to 12, most people would say, well, go get 80 leads. So get bigger, 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 not better, better, better. Well, here's the thing at 40 leads and six closings, you're at about a, a 15% conversion from referred lead to closing. What if we bump that 15% to say 25% uh, closings from referred relational lead to closing without getting more leads, without getting bigger, we get better by having a simple process. What happens when the phone rings? How does that, how do I lead them to my loan consultation? How do I lead them into my pre-approved and looking? How do I lead them into my mortgage refresh? How do I lead them into my lock-in call and handoff call so that we're getting even more business with the same 40 leads? So instead of doubling the lead count, increase conversion, which is essentially getting better with what I've already got coming in. And I went from six to 10 closings a month and I didn't get more. All I did was get better at what I already had. Now, listen, this, and this is crazy, but if I take those same 40 leads and I work a blended between refine purchase and I know people say, well, you, there's no more refine the business. That's not true. Cash outs are available, debt, debt payoffs, debt consolidations. There are still uh, renovation loans. I mean, they, we are still doing refis. Yes, they're not as prolific, but people still need money and equity from their home. If I'm working my refis, my database calls, and then I've got my good purchase business, you can get up to 32, 35% from referred lead that comes in uh, to closing, I've now taken that same 40 leads and gone from six closings a month. I bumped, I've been getting better the last 90 days. I got my conversion up to 25% and now I'm closing 10 loans a month and I got better the next 90 days. And I went from 10 to 14 closings a month. If you can take the same 40 leads and convert or increase your conversion, how do you increase conversion? By getting better not bigger. You know, it's funny, this business is so intoxicated with busy, busy, busy. Hey, I want to get bigger, bigger, bigger. And we fail, me included. Last year, it was a very, I mean, that's one of the greatest lessons is that I don't need more. I just need to get better. And then there are seasons where it's like, now we all know, hey, we're all doubling down on the sales activity. We're working diligently on building new qualified agent relationships. We're making tweaks in our scripts and our processes to ensure that what we've got is still producing and performing at a high level. Hey, let me give you another example. Um, bigger versus better. You know, make more calls, but you need to measure the activity and make sure the calls you're making are being effective. So if I'm making two or 300 calls, um, and I'm not getting the results I need out of the amount of calls that I'm making, getting better says, is this the right list? Do I have the right agents? Are they qualified? Do they produce at the right amounts? Qualified for us is eight or more buy side transactions in the last 12 months. So in my calls, you want to make more calls, but also make sure that the effectiveness of the calls are taking place. Are they the right people? Is it the right list? Um, when you're calling, are you calling at the right times where you get the most amount of people to pick up? When they do pick up, do you have your designed conversation dialed in so that you're able to quickly convert them into a, a, a new qualified agent meeting so that we can meet with them, make sure it's a right fit? close for commitment, wash, rinse, repeat. I'll give you an example. You can make a hundred outbound calls to get, you know, 13, 14 appointments, or you can make 20 or 30. Now, but Corbin in my branch, <clears throat> great example of this, getting super effective dialed in with his list the other day, made 30, about 30, 35 calls is what it took for him in order to set uh, 13, I think it was 13 or 14 appointments. And I just thought, Corbin, man, I commend you. Keep sharing what it is you're doing to have the more effective list, the more effective conversation of, of how, how you're dialing it in. And so when you're thinking about, do I get bigger? My challenge to you is don't get bigger unless you're getting better because there's opportunity in the better instead of just focusing on getting bigger. When you're getting bigger without evaluating what you're currently doing, 
you might be creating busy work thinking I got to go from 40 leads to 80 leads to double my income. And that's not the case. You just had to get a little bit better on your conversion. Same thing in meetings. If you're having Man, I've met with 25 agents and not one of them has started referring me business. You don't keep doubling down on even more appointments. You need to make sure that bigger is not the focus of better. Make sure your agent appointments, your new qualified agent appointments are dialed in. You got a good formula. You're being effective. They hear they're being honored. You're being um curious. Uh, you're closing for commitment to make sure that they walk out with a clear plan of what it looks like and how partnering with you is going to help them make more money. So bigger is not always more important than better. Um, you just got to be thinking about, M, do I need to get better? And in getting better, will I get bigger? Uh, you know, I'm even thinking about in our branch, you know, it's like, hey, I just get a you know, last year was a lesson learned where it's like, man, I'm going to fill the branch up with a lot of loan officers. And uh, what you begin to realize is numbers do not create profit. It is about having the right people in the right place and bigger for bigger sake will cause you to go broke. You need to make sure that you're bringing on the right loan officers. You're bringing on the right loan partners. You're bringing on the right operational staff that have your vision, your heart. They're here to perform and produce at the highest level. So just because you add bodies doesn't mean you add profit. Just because you add bodies and team members, you know, it's easy to say, oh, we've grown and we've got now X number of people. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the results. Are they better? Or are you just getting bigger for bigger sake? And so that was a big aha. Just wanted to share it, was thinking about it, you know, in every area of my business. Um, some areas you do need to get bigger. Some areas, you know, I was talking to a BDR that late last week <clears throat> and on his outbound calls, it was like literally it, it was not enough. Um, you know, and it, when I was talking to this person, they were saying, man, I'm just doubling down. I'm working hard. I don't know why I'm not getting results. And I said, well, send me your numbers. Um, and their numbers, like for somebody who's working full time as a business development rep in this business, you, you know, they had less than 50 outbound calls and in like three or four agent appointments. And I just, in that instance, I just told this person, I said, look, man, I, I appreciate it. But if you think that's going to move the needle in today's environment, uh, what are you doing with the other 20 or 30 hours of your week? Because as a BDR full-time focus, this person needs to get bigger. You should be making hundreds of outbound calls. You should be meeting with a minimum of 10 new qualified agents a week. It's all you're doing. And so in that instance, it is bigger while they're getting better. But I'll tell you, a lot of times it's, I need to be getting better uh, because the focus has so squarely been on more people, more resource, more, 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 instead of how do I take what I've currently got, maximize it, increase conversion, get a little bit better, and in getting better, we will grow bigger. So hope that helps. Hey, if you're thinking and you say, man, I, I would love for somebody to look at what I'm doing to see if I'm doing the right activity and what I can do to continue to grow and focus on my business, go to freedomplanningcall.com. We would love to help you put together not only a plan, but even evaluate the plan you currently have to see if... <clears throat> It's what's needed in order to help you thrive in today's market. We believe this can be your best month, your best year ever. And we've got a mapped out, simple to implement plan that will help you have your best results. And so go to freedomplanningcall.com, freedomplanningcall.com. Uh, we'd love to. My team and I, we will invest uh, 45 minutes uh, with you over the phone. And there's no cost, no charge. It's our total act of coolness uh, to this uh, podcast, to our industry, uh, to you as a listener. I want to give you that gift of a strategy call. We'd love to help you with it. Uh, freedomplanningcall.com. All right. And don't forget, subscribe, share, um, and give us a comment on uh, the podcast. That always helps. And uh, anything worth doing is worth doing badly. Just get started. See ya.